So we're going to start recording. Here's the difference quotient, which remember is just another formulation for the slope of a line. What line? A line that's tangent to a curve, in this case, to the graph of 3x squared plus 2. So here's a very rough graph of what 3x squared plus 2 would look like. And here's a line, a very badly drawn line, tangent to it. Now, blah de blah de blah, and blah de blah de blah de blah, 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 yeah, blah, we're gonna blah. And so f of x plus h minus f of x equals this minus the original f of x. We distribute the minus sign into 3x squared plus 2, and that gets, gives us minus 3x squared minus 2. So 3x squared minus 3x squared is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. And what we're left with is 6hx plus 3h squared. That's what f of x plus h minus f of x is. Then we divide by h. This is a poly, uh, this is a polynomial. It's a two term polynomial. So it's a binomial. Um, and when you divide a binomial or a polynomial by h, this is what you do. You take each term in the polynomial and you divide by h. And that cancels out the h. Woo, that h is gone. And one of these h's is gone. So we now have 6x squared plus 3h, which is a wonderful formula for the average rate of change right here. And then if h is very, very, in, you know, a very small increment, it can be so small it's close to zero. So we can pretend it's not there. Then we get the instantaneous rate of change which is what's so important. If I add one more thing that I'm producing, how will that affect my profit? Just for one more item. That's what the instantaneous rate of change is when it refers to profit. Talk to you later.